to what's happening if we go back to Bitcoin and why that's so important and why it would be hard to see from within the system is everybody's looking for, you probably heard me say this a million times, but which snowflake causes the avalanche, right? The, yeah. um, and lots of snowflakes all over the place and everybody's saying, oh no, this is it, this is it, this is it. And you cannot measure a, um, a non-linear system like that. In this video, popular macroeconomic expert Jeff Booth gives his views about how Bitcoin will help curb Africa's problem and the ongoing banking crisis in the US. Also, Jeff talks about how Bitcoin is repricing every single asset. Stay tuned so you can take advantage of these nuggets. I hope so. Because the United States has the largest economy in the world and its currency is the world reserve currency, every economy in the world must keep the US dollar in their reserve, use it for international trading, and keep some share of US debt. I'd pay a dollar for an A. Many people regard this supremacy as hurting rather than helping because when the US raises interest rates so dramatically, many countries default on their debts. According to Jeff Booth, with practically every other country pegged to the US dollar, the US has become supreme over others, which damages the other countries. He claimed that China is attempting to employ such a technique on other countries in order for China to become dominant, but the United States would not allow that to happen because they will not allow any other currency to become the reserve currency other than the US dollar. A king is always head and shoulders above his subjects. Let's listen to him. So there's I actually think what's happening around at a higher level than than the monetary level that we hear about at the Fed, what we hear about in the politicians, is what's really happening is the national security uh, complex. The U.S. realizes that they need to reshore labor, and they need to, and that means a lower U.S. dollar. And it's impossible to have a U.S. lower U.S. dollar with every other nation pegging to your U.S. dollar. Essentially, China's using that strategy to exploit the strategy, and if the U.S. allows them, China will be dominant, and then it'll be that, then it'll look like, uh, then it'll expand on the same, essentially, paradigm mm -hmm. that we just had, uh, that yeah. we had. I, I suspect that is, nobody's going to let that happen. Um, there is not going to be another reserve currency like the U.S. ever. Um, Many countries, including Russia, want to observe the political will that the United States has to print more money and govern practically everyone. Is there a way to solve this problem in the long term? Well, Jeff has the answer, so keep watching. That's good to know. To get all our insightful analysis on Bitcoin and other crypto projects, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified all the time. With supremacy sometimes comes bias. When banks in the United States were collapsing due to contagion, the feds picked which ones to save. Similarly, when countries defaulted on their debt, the IMF chose which ones to save. This is severe and should be changed. Jeff Booth believes that with China attempting to overthrow the United States and all, it is time to return to Bitcoin because Bitcoin is already pricing in whatever is happening in the world. Argentina, for example, has over 100% inflation, making their earnings abysmal, Jeff said that Argentina badly requires Bitcoin. Shiba Inu developers are planning on launching the Shibarium blockchain as early as the third quarter of 2023. This will be huge for people who know about some of the gems on how to make money with Shibarium. If you want to be part, kindly check out the video titled Top 3 Hidden Potentials of Shibarium Now.